Hey Jason. Tim, nice to meet you. Nice Bye. to meet you. We're gonna grind stumps here today. I think we got about six stumps today, uh, varying different types. We got some tulip, we got some maple, we got some ash. Yeah, we got a new a new stump grinder. This is the Bomalite stump grinder, the 1P24. We've shown a stump grinder almost exactly like this several times on our channel. Yep, I've seen I've seen a few of those. But it's been probably a year and a half since we've shown it. And the reason is because we've been awaiting some modifications. Uh, I don't know why they took so long, but we've been awaiting these modifications. This particular 1P24 has two features that the other one didn't. It's quick hitch compatible. That's good. And it has a slip clutch Ooh, so instead of a shear bolt. Yeah, I'll save you a little bit of money when I have them go through bolts as many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can adjust it for different uh, strength tractors and 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 so we're, we're we're pretty excited about that. Other than that, I think it's almost the same. It's been a long time since I've used. I tell you what, I'll do a couple and then I'll let you try. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay, so this thing is supposed to help us get the sawdust out. All right. Right. And and so I have to get the battery for it. That's the that's the bigger deal here. Oh, it's all battery power. This is the combi system, but it's the battery one. Oh okay, wow. Okay, Jason, this is not just any battery. <laughs> This is the Benford 3000. Oh, it's the... Oh, more <laughs> See this arrow? There's a, 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 a right corresponding there on arrow right there. on the side yep. there. Satisfied with it? Yeah. I think it's all done. Then you can use that thing to push all the stuff back in the hole. Yeah, I think everything, you've got most everything you need on that, so. The idea is that uh, oh, for yeah. you is to dig it out so that we can see what's going in, and then oh, when yeah. you're satisfied, push it all back in. Yep. That first one went really easy. This one seems a little bit harder. We'll ask Jason what kind they are when he gets over here in a minute. Like I say, this is the first time I've used a 1P24 from Bomalite in probably a year and a half. Uh, I just sold my other one but I had set it aside, not wanting to show it on our channel again in anticipation of these new features. I also said a year and a half ago when I was last using this grinder that I would try to find a partner who could sell these online at a cost competitive price. Well, I found one. You can now go to shopgreendealer.com slash TTWT. You'll see it listed there. And then if you use code TTWT at checkout, you'll get an additional 5% discount and free shipping less than $2,500 to your door. Well, there may be sales tax. Ugh. I think that one was an ash. That's probably one of the hardest ones because that was the one that was the biggest pain to get cut out. I know folks are going to ask how long it took to do each stump that we work on here today. The first one was only three to five minutes probably. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at estimating time when I'm having fun on a tractor, but I'm going to estimate 15 to 20 minutes on this stump. Even though this stump was harder, you can tell that the grinder is really chewing it up. Seeing those big chips shows when it's efficiently cutting. Are you happy with the stump? I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, for, for what that is, I can deal with what's left in that. I didn't feel anything that was hard enough. And Okay, so, so this one was ash? Yeah, that was an ash tree. Okay, and what was that first one? I believe that one was a tulip tree. So okay. there's two or three tulips that are right there, and then this how, one. How long had this one been dead? It's been dead since we've been here, and it's been that's been October 17. So my guess is it's been dead at least probably another year or so before then with the emerald yeah. ash borer we've had here. So yeah, yeah. Well, if that's the hardest <laughs> one we've got, then we'll be fine. Yep, I think the rest of them. There might be one more ash, but it's nowhere near as big as this one was. Okay. And then there's some maple. I usually a pine one over there. That'd be real easy. I don't know. Sometimes I've had trouble with pines. Huh. I don't know why. It shouldn't be hard, but it's supposed to be soft wood, but sometimes I've had some trouble. I love this view. Great job, Christy. This is the depth I like to go at to start. It seems if I get a good solid bite, I can reduce that bouncing. However, it does seem that some stumps cause it to bounce more than others. In this case, it's grinding this stump quickly and efficiently. Now remember, you need a hydrostatic tractor to be able to use one of these 1P24s. To my knowledge, this is the only style of stump grinder that can work on a subcompact tractor. Now, Bomalite makes a larger grinder that swings back and forth. That style requires two hydraulic outlets and is significantly heavier than this style. 
If you'd be interested in seeing one of those larger ones, leave us a comment below, and we'll see if Bama Light's open to letting us try one of the 3P24s on Johnny 2. Okay, so a little bit of instruction here, Jason. Yeah. Um, this thing, if you notice when I was driving it, it tilts backwards. I can't pull it backwards, but it tilts backwards. It's okay to let it tilt a little bit, but there are stops in here, and I pulled my last one so hard that I kind of bent against the stop. So okay. letting it pull a little bit backwards shows that you're, you know, you're, you're engaged, okay. but not very much. And it's a little hard to see from the seat. We typically start on like the right part of the stump. So you notice I didn't drive up centered over the stump. I drove up where I'm centered. I'm centered basically on the right edge of the stump. Okay. Now, I like to cut in maybe an inch and a half, two inches deep and take that. And as I'm going forward, I watch how it's bending, right? And I don't want to get it bent too far back. And, okay. and it only has cutters on the front side, so it won't cut going backwards. But sometimes I do back up without raising it a little bit if it's to, to get it to tilt back down. And then maybe I think maybe it'll try again. And it will tend to pull you to the right. If you feel it bouncing really hard, anytime you try to cut downward, it bounces. Okay. okay. I'm not going to say that's the only time it bounces, but it bounces if you try to cut downward. If you're cutting, it prefers that you cut into the wood. So here's the here's the wood saw into the wood, not down onto the wood. Does that make sense? Yep. Kind of drag it right through where the snuff is. Try to drag it right through. Yeah. All right. Give her a shot. Now your Johnny's bigger than this, so. Eh, it's but this one's a little newer and a little bit nicer, so. <laughs> <laughs> and more comfy too, probably. He's doing a great job. This is the first time I've ever seen someone grind a stump with it. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Um, don't worry about being totally parallel each time. All right. You can just turn your front end this direction. And, and that'll actually take care of the Yeah, of yeah, and you just end up kind of almost going around it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it looked like maybe a third of it on that side, and then your next trip forward, you'll want to go a little more because you've not quite got all this root. All right. Not necessarily deeper, but further forward. Oh, yeah. what happens when you have a cousin-in-law that likes to have a little bit too much fun. We brought that one down just this last, uh, around Thanksgiving, so that's let all the water in, but might be a little bit satisfying to be able to wipe the smile off his face. <laughs> I think we'd have been in a little bit better shape had we sawed more off of this stump before we started. One side was just above ground level, but this side over here was at least six inches, maybe eight inches above the ground. This is probably the tallest stump we've ever tried to grind. I didn't really mind, especially just this once, to see what kind of a disadvantage that might put us in. Well, it did put us at a disadvantage. If you'll notice, Jason has to work at it a good while here just to get it down to ground level. So I would encourage you to cut your stumps off as near ground level as possible to save a lot of time with this grinder.
had so much sawdust in there we couldn't tell whether it was done or not. Ah, uh, look there. Still have a good bit of it left once we got it uncovered. Steel calls this attachment the power sweep. I'll probably call it a paddle wheel. Good enough for what I need. Well, Jason, we got her done. Whew. Boy, was that a job, though. <laughs> Made a lot diff much of a difference having that implement, though. Yeah. And having to dig those out and bring it, them out it, by hand. It wasn't that much work. I mean, it, you know, it's just you have to kind of turn around behind you a little bit with that tractor. and look. I'm turning the other way now for the next, it's kind of like NASCAR, you turn left now. Right now, so I got to turn right the rest of the way. So. Hey, you got a nice Johnny here. Well, thank you, appreciate it. A lot of hard work went into that one. And yeah, 30 yeah. 30 AD. Now, this is a Tar River grapple. Yes, uh, that's one of those that came out of uh, from Good Works. Yeah, Good uh, Works tractors. It works really well. It's the best brush mover I've ever had. Yeah, a grapple is amazing. Take a look at her. You take a look at our pile back here. It's done its job quite well. Now, this is me saying this. It's it's not Jason, but I see a couple things on this grapple that, that concern me a little bit. Uh, at least three of the four front tines are bent. Sorry. And you don't need to apologize. Uh, you shouldn't be able to bend a front tine with uh, normal work on a grapple. And and we see one other bend up here on the on the clamp. I, this is a heavy grapple, too. I believe it's a mild steel grapple. Yeah. The funding, it, it's worked for what we've had, so. Hey, that Bombalite stump grinder. Oh, wonderful, wonderful product right there. Ate through all those, all the stumps, chewed through the soft stuff, hard stuff, it, it still chomped right through it. Yeah, it did. It just takes a little longer. Oh, yeah. Now, I told you that we hadn't shown it for a year and a half, and I told you it was because we got the quick hitch compatibility and we got the slip clutch. But there was a third item. We actually now have it available online. Ooh. I didn't have any way to to allow you guys to go get it before. Now you go to shop green dealer slash TTWT and you use code TTWT when you check out, you get a 5% discount. It's it's less than $2,500 and that includes six free teeth. Jason, it's very nice to meet you. Hey, how long have you been watching our channel? Oh, it's a good about three or four years almost. Uh, started my started researching actually for uh, my own little tractor. One of the first ones that popped up were a lot of yours and you were doing exactly all the things that I wanted to learn. I needed to know about these implements and it actually helped shape some of the things I went towards and what things to stay away from. So I appreciate all the work you did for that. Help guys like me out and that way you save us time and money by going through all these processes. I thank you for that and I really appreciate it. I'm glad to see you got your own Johnny. Oh, yeah. Hey folks, spring is here and we're quarantined. Hey, do you notice we're keeping our uh, social distance social here? Distance six, six feet, right? Yeah, I think we're doing yeah, fine. We're <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.